hello friends this is abhishek and welcome back to the one more video tutorial regarding the phone gap to phone gap right today we're going to see the most important things that is notifications right uh, i think lots of uh, you guys have heard about the push notifications okay i'm not going to talk about the push notifications which is thrown by the app store okay or apple server or for android it's a gcm right we are talking about the local push notifications just like uh, if i would like to explain i'll explain a simple example that is reminder okay suppose if you want to set a local notifications that is uh, whenever user uh sets a particular time that after one hour i want a push notifications on my android applications okay whether the application is uh, active or dead okay or inactive right so for that we are using a third party plugin right that is cordova plugin dash local dash notifications okay here is a simple example okay they have listed everything here we are just going to integrate this in our application okay so first let's create a new applications by using the node.js command prompt right so here i'll go to desktop cordova create push notification com dot info log push application right if you want to know how to configure the node.js into your windows system just visit my previous videos you will get all the detail idea on that okay so here project is created locate into the push notification directory cordova platform add we're going to add a new platform for android and if you are developing for the ios applications then you have to add platform android sorry ios okay just write ios instead of android so here our project is created okay we'll build this project cordova build till i'm started the journey motion simulator Okay, so here we're gonna use the latest 6.0 API 13. Sorry, 23. Okay, just it is loading. So check. Okay, it started. Now just close this. Okay. Okay, we'll minimize this, and we'll open this project inside of Visual Studio. Okay, this is my favorite editor, so I'll use Visual Studio instead of Eclipse. The building is still in progress, so it's taking a little bit more time for the first time. Okay. Okay. uh let's see the details what this plugin offers to us okay it's a very simple plugin you have to install uh, this in your applications okay and uh, as listed here it will support the ios greater than 8 and the sdk should be greater than 7 okay also you can use this in windows application as well as in windows phone application right okay what is the important is here 
okay this much code will generate a notification okay in that different different parameters which you have to pass like id title text first at okay every week or every day sound icons and the data whatever you want to pass from notification to your application right okay what will what we are going to do we uh, we are going to first yeah the project is built successfully now i'm going to install this project to my uh generation simulator by using node.js command prompt okay for that just fire com cordova run android okay it will automatically detect the active simulator and will install automatically okay till we are going to open the project so just locate to desktop and this is the project okay the project is loaded successfully right okay now what we are doing we will edit our code here right inside www index okay why i am doing here changes cause i am going to use command prompt to install application into my simulator okay if you are using uh, eclipse then you have to changes inside the platform www assets here okay but now i am not using that so i have to changes inside this inside the base www folder okay uh, whenever you build the applications the all the changes you have done in this www will automatically reflected inside the particular platform okay we'll going to more discuss about this folder architectures because lots of people are asking how the uh, multiple projects can be combined in a single project okay like uh, if you want to manage the android as well as ios as well as uh, windows blackberry inside a single solution then how you can do that okay we'll take care about uh, that questions in the next videos right so till let's focus on lo local push notifications so i'll remove the extra security provided by the android or phone phone gap so just remove that okay here uh, we'll gonna add cordova js in on the head section after that we'll remove the extra thing from the page also remove the link section okay and then just write a script tag detect device ready event okay declare the function okay just replace so it will be proper okay and here i'm going to set alert device ready okay so we'll get that the application is created successfully and working fine okay so just i'm going to run this again okay it will automatically install the applications and provide an alert as well, as soon as our application is loaded into the simulator okay the application is built successfully yeah yes we got the alert that means our application is working fine okay now we are going to install the plugin okay that is cordova dash plugin dash local dash notification so i'll copy this just add 
Cordova plugin add Cordova dash plugin dash local notifications. Okay, it will automatically add the support of other plugins like Cordova a device plugin which is automatically installed. Also, it added the support for version 4. Okay, if you want to list your plugins, then just Cordova plugin list. It will list all the plugins which have installed inside the app. Okay, if you notice, we have a 0.8.2 dev. Okay, that means it's a, a development under development versions we have downloaded. So, what we are doing here, we will use the stable plugin. Okay, see, we have here version 0.8.4, that means we have to install via GitHub. Now, I'm removing this plugin. So, Cordova plugin remove a dot plant Cordova. Plugin local no notification. Okay, uninstall and now Cordova plugin add right click and paste. Okay, it will add the latest plugin. Okay, whenever you add the plugin from the Cordova, okay, just check. The proper version which is the proper version right now here the application is added now again we're going to check the version okay here we are getting latest version 0.8.4 okay now just go to build your application and run inside the simulator okay it's building so just wait for a second Okay, it's built successfully. Cordova run Android. Okay, or you can also directly run the application. That means it will automatically build the application and install in a single command. Okay, so here our application is working fine. I think so. Yes, it's working fine. Now what we are doing we are going to add a button over here okay just input type is equal to button value is equal to send push notification okay on click push notification okay so here is my function push notification okay and according to the documentations we are going to use this okay cordova dot plugin dot local schedule for this much okay so here i have put this Currently, I'm gonna just use title text. I'm not using this sound icon and data Okay, I'll remove this This is first push notification Okay push notification Right just run this application
Okay, device is ready and then send the push notification. Okay, if you see here, you will get this is the first push notification. Okay, at once you can also change the different different icons to your application sound. Okay, uh, at what time you would like to set this, right? Here's the whole details about the push notifications, but it's a local. Don't get confused. It's not a uh, push notifications. Okay, there are two different parts. One is local and one is global. Uh, you can say the uh, the push notification which is uh, thrown by the App Store or Apple server or uh, the GCM for the Android application. Okay, we're not going to talk about that, right? I hope you guys have understood understood this if you have any questions please comment on my videos and do not forget to subscribe this channel for more and more videos okay if you visit my channel that is www.webboostings sorry youtube.com slash webboostings you'll find all the latest videos regarding the phone gap asp.net c sharp jquery's swift objective c okay we have covered a lot of things in a single channel okay and uh, if you do not want to use the on a YouTube just go to the website that is infologs.in mentioned inside the description link okay so till then you can just keep learning bye bye and I just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors devmountain.com uh, just because of them I'm recording this video tutorial for you guys actually they are running a coding bootcamp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development <coughs> web development iOS development and UX design for the full time and after hours okay uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, I would like to request to just check out their website Demartin.com and uh, I have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye